What's up guys and welcome back to Must Download Jailbreak Tweak where I show you the best tweaks for your device. In today's video I'm gonna show you an awesome tweak that you must download. This tweak completely redesigned and enhances the multitasking view of iOS as you can see, making it powerful yet familiar with a native look and design and gorgeous animations. App switcher and control center in the same view so you can access control center quickly from multitasking. That tweak also let you lock any app as you can see, so when you try to close the app from the multitasking you won't be able to do that and i think this is the best feature of this tweak if you want to unlock the app just swipe it down and that's it now you can close the app from multitasking it's a really amazing feature this tweak has many features and it's an amazing tweak and now i'm gonna show you how to download and install the tweak first go ahead and open zebra or silly store or whatever you are using go to the sources here and make sure to add diagnostic source after adding the source, go to the search here and search for just to tweak. As you can see, this is the tweak. Just to tweak, as I said, will completely redesigns and enhances the multitasking view of iOS, which makes it a powerful and more useful multitasker with a native lock in design and gorgeous animations. Control Center is also integrated in the app switcher, which makes it easy for you to quickly access the Control Center from the multitasking. That week has many awesome features like Combined Control Center in App Switcher, multi side for Control Center and App Switcher, side by sides, quick actions, app lock, and more. That week is truly amazing and one of the best tweaks I've used recently. This tweak extensive customization options extend to multitasking and control center, providing you with a rich array of choices. And the best thing is that it is completely free tweak. Okay, now just go ahead and install it. Hit modify, hit install, click here, now hit confirm. I already installed it, so I will not install it again. After installing the tweak, go to the home screen and open the settings to enable the tweak. Okay, scroll down and open the tweak preferences. This is the tweak. Alright, the first thing you're gonna do here is of course enable the tweak from here. Now here in the tweak settings, you can customize the tweak the way you want. In the first option here, which is the app switcher view, users can select side by side view as you see. This is a good one. Or you can select multi-side view and this is what I'm using. Multi-side are combined to control center as you see. I really prefer to use multi-side view. Here you can adjust multi-side view settings so you can change the background, enable edge to edge. Here you can change rows displayed. You can use two, three or four. This will show you four rows of control center toggles in multitasking. You can also use three rows as you see. Okay, but in my case, I like two rows, so I will select two. Here you can enable paging option, and here you can change scroll method. You can select horizontal or vertical mode. I really like the horizontal mode, so I will select it. Here you can change control center position, so you can put the control center in app switcher at the bottom as you can see. Okay, I will change it to the top because I love using it like this. Here below you can reset multi-site content offsets and here you can jump and manage your control center modules. Just don't forget to install CC modules tweak to get more free modules. Okay, here you can change the app switcher cards. You can use linear switcher as you see. Or you can use grid switcher which I'm using. Or you can use the default one. I will select grid switcher. Here you can adjust app switcher options. The first option allows you to show the app icon and the name below the app card as you can see. If you enable it, you will see the app name and icon below the card. You can also enable cleared apps, open to current and more. In quick options here as you can see you can access the most important toggles to you inside of the app switcher just by swiping left on the first card. You can use up to 5 actions. You can remove any unwanted action. Here below there are some useful options like delay, haptic feedback, hide labels, change background and more. 
in the last option here you can lock any app in the app switcher and this will not allow you to close any app from multitasking in other meaning you won't be able to close the app if you lock it if you swipe up the app will close but if you swipe it down the app will be locked as you see the app now won't be closed until you unlock the app to unlock the app just swipe it down again and that's it here you can enable automatically lock apps that play audio, close apps individually, change backgrounds, and more. After making any changes, you don't need to respring your device. Okay, as you see, here is the new design and the new look. This tweak is very beautiful and useful and you will get a lot of features from it. Of course, you can download this tweak from Diagnostic Source. It's a really amazing tweak that I recommend you to give it a try. You will find the source to download the tweak below the video. So guys, this is our tweak for today's video. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more jailbreak tweaks videos hope to see you in the next videos and peace